Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. Today the topic is anxiety. One in five adults in the UK, according to a survey last year, describe themselves as being anxious either all of the time or a lot of the time. So it's a big scale problem, which is interesting given the fact that we live in one of the most affluent societies there's ever been. Which just goes to show that physical security, material wealth, doesn't equate to soul security, to peace of mind. And Jesus teaches this in his uh, Sermon on the Mount, Matthew chapter 6, verse 25, following where he says these words, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, and do not worry about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more important than food, and the body more important than clothes? Look at the birds of the air, they do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Which of you can add a single hour to his life by worrying? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the lilies of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? So do not worry saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Some wonderful profound words from Jesus here, which are as relevant today as they were back then. Why do we overload today with the concerns of tomorrow? Now, anxiety isn't the same as concern. Concern is good. It causes us to act and carry off something that needs to be done. But anxiety is a way of naming concern in overdrive. That way our mind starts over-revving. And anxiety, Jesus points out, quite obviously does have no positive impact on our lives. In fact, it might reduce our lifespan rather than adding to it. It can be detrimental to our health, mental health and our relationships. Jesus says you need to focus on the kingdom. Reconnect with nature. Look how God provides. Lift your eyes and see how the, the birds eat and the, the, the flowers of the field are amply provided for. Will your heavenly Father who loves you not provide for you also as you engage in trying to invest in his kingdom? So the challenge this week is to say how can we de-knot this anxiety? Maybe you'd like to leave a comment with some of your anxiety-busting suggestions. I'd be uh, really pleased and thrilled to hear your suggestions.